A school in Lincolnshire is offering staff duvet days to try and retain the best teachers. The head teacher of Long Sutton Community Primary School hopes that giving staff incentives, including an extra day off each year, will mean that more teachers will apply for jobs there. But some critics argue it sends out the wrong message about teaching. Gemma Dawson has this report. Finding teachers who want to work in rural areas can be tricky, but a school in Long Sutton is now offering a duvet day as an incentive. The school's closed at the moment for the Easter holidays, but in term time, full-time employees can have an extra pre-arranged day off every year, with part-time workers getting a percentage of their hours. The scheme costs the school £3,500 a year, but the head teacher here thinks that it's worth it to retain the best staff. But in Long Sutton today, the idea received a mixed response. They have enough time off there already, and I don't think they need an extra day for a duvet day. As long as it doesn't disrupt the children or the other teaching staff, then, then it's a good idea. I think anything that retains good teachers in your school is worth doing. Nationally, the number of vacancies and temporarily filled positions doubled over three years, rising from 1,800 vacant roles in 2011 to more than 4,000 in 2014. Today, nearly 40 teaching jobs are being advertised on Lincolnshire County Council's website. So would an extra day off entice Emily, a trainee teacher, to move to rural Lincolnshire? I've just secured my first NQT job close to home because at the moment I'm not ready to move away from home or that sort of thing. I think in the future it would be something that would maybe be a possibility and I would probably consider relocating. The school in Long Sutton isn't the only organisation to use incentives. The NHS is currently offering £20,000 to encourage trainee GPs to come and work in the county. While last year, the trust which runs Scunthorpe Hospital offered staff a £250 bonus if they referred someone for a job. But this teacher is concerned that offering a duvet day could give the wrong impression. In a time when people are worried about money, we have what seem like very good pensions, we get reasonably high pay, so the idea that we get extra time off as well as the holidays, that, if I was a parent, would be something that I'd be questioning. Back in Long Sutton, the head teacher here admits it's a hard-nosed business decision, but one he believes is working. Gemma Dawson, BBC Look North. Well, should teachers get an extra day off? I'll be asking for your views in just a moment. Well, this afternoon I spoke to the head teacher of the school, Bill Lord, and I asked him if the £3,500 a year this cost could be better spent on teaching the children or on school buildings. Well, it, it, it sounds like a lot of money, but in a, a budget of £1.3 million, making sure that I have the best teachers in front of our fantastic children is a priority. The other thing that hasn't been presented in the press is actually that money is raised by work I do supporting other schools or working for educational companies. So it's actually cost neutral to the school. But, but many people watching will be saying, don't teachers get enough time off already? Why even more? Yeah, I mean, it's an easy argument to make. I mean, if I look at the staff I've got at the moment going to uh, sports shops and buying big bags in order to carry all their marking home at five o'clock at night, uh, I don't think anybody can accuse our staff of slacking. It's looking after them and making sure that ultimately I've got a full staff every September, oh, which is so hard. And why is it so hard these days to get teachers to come to Lincolnshire? Good salary, good place to live. Why is it so hard? Well, I mean, the major issue is that young teachers tend to train in cities and then they want the sort of the bright lights. They want to be able to go and see bands at weekends. And uh, so they're, they're moving to Peterborough, they're moving to Nottingham and to Lincoln. And it's hard to get them to come down to places in South Holland. But, you know, in, in Long Sutton, the three-bedroom semi, £140,000, I understand, on, on average. Sutton in Surrey, £600,000. Do you really need to offer more incentives and yet another day off to get teachers? Yeah, I mean, uh, we have offered some fantastic jobs. We, we've offered interesting jobs such as research lead, we've offered management uh, positions, and we are averaging 0.8 applications per post over five years. And that's included advertising nationally, including me using innovative ways, including social media. We just can't get people to move to our area very easily. And what do you say to the parents watching tonight who will be saying, oh, teachers, it's just holiday after holiday. They already get a lot of time off. You only work 195 days a year, and here's yet another day on top of that. 
It's, it's, it's a very easy argument to make. The uh, latest survey of work workplaces showed that teachers actually are averaging at primary about 50 hours to 60 hours a week. They're hardworking staff and my priority as a head teacher is to make that our children get the same chances as okay. all the other children in the country. Okay, with a yes-no answer, can a pupil with two weeks notice uh, decide to take a duvet day? Um, no, but we actually have increased our um, attendance by offering the same sort of incentives, incentives to the children. We pay £250 a year in prizes for attendance. Very good to talk to you, Mr Lord. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Peter. McKean, for your views on the, this one, what do you think is uh, Bill Wright to uh, offer this perk, an extra day's uh, leave a year, duvet day, to attract more teachers to his uh, school? Here's how to uh, get in touch on this one. I think it's a good idea for uh, teachers. Will it attract more people to Lincolnshire? We've heard there in Gemma's report, 39 vacancies at the moment. What other ideas do you have for suggesting uh, getting teachers to come to Lincolnshire. Do you agree with the idea? The email address is there, looknorth at bbc.co.uk. Text number is 81333. Start the text with the word look north or follow me on Twitter. We'll have some of views on that one before we're done at seven o'clock.